UI. Uh, it's a very good morning and it's a very wet one uh, because outside is actually drizzling and uh, it's a beautiful weather and it's actually good for sleep. Um, but I have to wake up because I have a lesson at 8.30 and uh, I'm just thinking uh, since I mentioned that we're going to start doing a series of video whereby I will show you um, the how I use certain machines uh, for maybe a week or two and uh, why not start something I have at home, right? So uh, I'm going to show you the setup that I have. Uh, I think if you have been following my videos, right, you know that I own a, uh, I'm actually using a Quickmail Rubino, right? Non-TID, fully manual machines um, at home. But of course I fitted with the flow control profile, uh, the flow control, uh, full control device to control the flow. And that actually makes quite a bit of difference for a machine that doesn't come with PID and doesn't come with a short timer, it basically comes just with a steam gauge to let you know that the machine is up to working order. And uh, okay, without further ado, let me show you the machines and the grinder that I pair with it and then show you how I actually uh, pull a shot and make a latte out of it, right? So this not this video is going to be a lot, it's be a shorter one, right? Unlike my other video, which is like 30 and 40 minutes. So, so before we uh, start, let me just show you the equipment I'm using today. Right on my table is a little bit messy. Uh, I use this mainly for filter coffee. This is actually my um, Fuji Royal um, um, milling uh, grinder, right? Which is um, couldn't do espresso, so I use this mainly for uh, filter coffee. It makes a very good cup because it has a certain amount of fine, which actually add on to the complexity of the coffee which I prefer rather than a very clean cup of filter coffee. So this is my um, probably go-to if I'm uh, tired of using my uh, Commandante or my you know other kind of pan grinder for um, grinding coffee, right? So of course the machine uh, that I've talked about is actually the Quick Mill Rubino. Um, this is my favorite machine because um, it's built to last. The build quality of the machine and the metal the stainless steel, the polishing that it uses is just not comparable by other machines, right? So, and of course, if you have been following my video, you know that Quick Mill is a formerly a stainless steel factory, and my friend Stefano, and the father actually purchased Quick Mill, and then they start making espresso machine and only make the steel for themselves, right? So this is that's the reason why I love this machine so much. This machine has been with me more for about two years. You can see that the stainless steel mirror effect is still fantastic, right? And of course, this is also from Quick Mail. This is the flow control. The You have to change the entire mushroom. So the design is very similar to the ECM style or the rocket style, not the Lily with a flow restrictor, right? And uh, let me just show you the machine. Two years of use, you can see it's still gleaming. And uh, and recently, I fitted with, of course, the IMS, IMS shower screen. And then of course I have also switched out the uh, the nano coating baskets for and it's a richest one so um I prefer the richest one right and uh, yeah let me just show you the machines I have uh, elevated the machine because I wanted to do some uh, uh, some modifications so I can actually put a skill on top okay maybe I just show you how this one is supposed to work okay technically because the scale is a bit too high. So when I try to put it inside, right, it will, you will get stuck, right. So right now, this is what I come up with. Uh, it is still not perfect, but I'm trying to get it uh, to working condition. So I've designed this, right. Uh, it's a like a stand where I can put on my scale, right. So once it's put on, I will just put this scale underneath here, and I can switch on. So from now, if I put my anything on it, okay, right now you can see that the reading is running a bit because some parts is not, uh, um, some parts is probably touching the metal. So uh, it is still not perfect, but you get my idea. Okay, so what happens is that if I dose my coffee on top, right, it will actually measure directly. So I do not have to uh, put my skill on top to do the measurement. So that's the idea. Anyway, this is still a project in progress. Right, so yeah, so this is my quick meal. Um, mine is still the older version, right? But currently, the one that we have in our shop is the later version with uh, anti burn steam wand, anti burn hot water wand, and uh, and our quick meal will be no 
black color is coming very soon and that will that is a machine that's customized totally for Singapore and Malaysian market whereby we will be getting the wooden bottle filter the bottomless one uh, the steam knob here and the hot water knob will change to the lever style with wood finish walnut trim finish of course this will be changed to walnut as well okay so um, maybe I'll do a brief introduction on the quick meal rubino right basically this is a very simple machine um, the reason why it doesn't break down is because of simplicity it doesn't have PID but what uh, you know if you use um, darker rolls we just need to do a flush Right. And the beauty of it is I can control the flow, you know, to flush on more water. Right. I can reduce the flow. Right, to almost zero. Yep, and I can increase the flow again. Right, so that's actually how the flow control works. And you just have to do a hot water flush to regulate the temperature of the thermal siphon and you're pretty much uh, good to go and the machine temperature is around 93 degrees celsius there's a thermostat inside to control the temperature and this light will light up intermittently to heat up to keep the temperature of the boiler you know, to a constant temperature so you can see it light up only for a short while and the steam one on this machine is a beast i have uh, um there's many other machines i've seen but this comes with a two-tip steam hole but the steaming is like crazy it finished steaming in let's say less than six seconds. So it's a very powerful machine, even though it's non-PID. But if you know how to use it, um, it makes a very decent and very good cup of coffee, right? And of course, the grinder that I pair with, I'm thinking of bringing this in. Uh, uh, I used to only bring one unit for myself, but after I've used it for one year, I think this is probably the easiest grinder to use, right? The spec, uh, it is, it is, the spec is a 64 mm flat burr. Of course, the burr inside can be changed to SSP, whichever burr you want to, right? Um, but inside the, inside this grinder is still the 64 mm uh, Itamio burr set. And I've been using it for about a year plus and it has been fully seasoned. And the beauty of this grinder, which is called the RF64W, W stands for weight dosing, is that it can measure the weight that I want to. Uh, I have not really calibrated it yet. So if I calibrate this well, it will actually be able to grind pretty accurately within plus minus maybe 0 to 0 0.2 to about 0 0.5 grams of uh, coffee. So uh, you can see that there's actually a weighing scale at the bottom. Right, and the grinder is pretty good because, uh, and it's pretty fast too, right? It shows you the number of shots and the temperature inside and the outside and, uh, you know, uh, the bean temperature. You no, know, there's a lot of things. And the good thing is this hopper can be replaced by a blower. So you can, you can actually convert this to a single dose. It is definitely larger than the DF64 for sure. But uh, I like the squarish, rectangleish kind of uh, design. And uh, it just makes... Um, it, it's just paired with my Rubino much better, right? Of course, it comes with uh, the, the uni I get is actually carbon fiber wrapping, um, but you can get other colors uh, from us. If you're interested, do get in touch with us. Uh, we can discuss, right? So this is a um, um, something like a stepless system, similar on the Rica, right? Uh, but some many many people in the forum says that this is not exactly stepless. Yep, you there's a big grinding wheel and with gear inside. So in, in strictly speaking, it is not stepless because there's a big gear where it clicks, right? So, uh, but uh, it will definitely be able to grind fine enough to give you enough range to do whatever coffee, whatever espresso style you want it to be. So having said so much, let's just grind the coffee. And you can see I do not have any dosing ring there to prevent spillage. I just press go. It's done. No spillage at all, right? You can see that. And right now it's about 18 point, 18 .5, 18 .6, 18 18.5, sorry. So um, I have to calibrate this thing, right? <laughs> but if I calibrate this well, it is usually quite. Um, it give me quite an accurate result, right? So let's. Right, so I'll show you my normal um, preparation at my um, uncle's house. So this is a tiny setup that I have. 
But before that, maybe let me switch the camera angle so that you can see how I do the preparation in three stages. So let me bring my tripod around here. Yep, so you can see that this is the setup uh, with a tamping station, right? A very, very solid tamping station. Uh, this is, of course, the, the level of the distributor, my cookie press to tamp it down, my um, needle like WD T2 which spins. So, this is the things I use. So, basically, I just remove my photo filter and put it on top of my um, tamping station. WDT. I can do everything in one hand, right? So knock it down. Use my distributor. All right. Use my cookie press. And I like park screen, so I'll be using park screen too. Find side below, call side on top, and lock up the photo filter, and we are good to go. So right now, because my uh, my new design is still in progress and still in prototyping, so I'll just be using the old style. Right? Don't forget, uh, I already flushed the system, but let's do a, another flush. I mean, in terms of inconvenience between the PID and non-PID machine, is that we just have to flush it. For about five seconds. Right, so uh, I will not bring uh, you too close to see the shot quality because uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, of course, uh, you can argue that um, you want to dial in the shot perfectly, but in the morning situation, this is probably the best, even though if I don't get a good shot at a time and uh, I'll just go with it and make some milk, it still make a pretty good latte. So, okay, let's close down the flow control, start the timer and then flip the switch for a mechanical um, pre-infusion. Right, then I'll pull up. Right, so about 40, 40 grams of coffee. Right in about uh, 30 seconds. So let's heat up the steam. Push the steam on. Steam some milk. And again, I'm going to show you how fast this thing steam milk. Of course, I'm using a smaller one. Uh, this one is a 300 ml milk jug. Right. Done, right? So it's really fast. And uh, a little tip I don't really push directly into the drip tray because it will make my drip tray very um, fat. There's a lot of fats in the milk, so it will make it oily. So I usually I will fold my uh, cloth and then I push directly on the cloth, right? Make sure that you double layer or triple layer the cloth so that it doesn't burn yourself. Wipe down, and that's it. And now we can make a latte. Right, camera angle is not ideal, but I'll try my best. Okay, not too bad. Um, right, so this is uh, my morning routine, right? But uh, and can make one cup in less than two minutes, and the second cup will be even Let's be faster. See how the quick meal is, and the quick meal do Rubino. That's actually the uh, entry level machines. And uh, it is a heat exchanger and uh, without PID, fully mechanical. And that's the beauty of this machine because I just like its simplicity and its robustness, robustness of the build. And uh, as with our company logo and our company motto, right, it's about 
quality, consistency, and beauty, right? Quality, beauty, and consistency. So what is quality? Quality means quality built, right? Design, beautiful design, and then um, making consistent shots, right? Okay, the consistency depends on user, right? Depends on how, how, how well you know about making espresso. And um, yeah, okay, so this is CY once again. Thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button and like my videos and share to your friends who are fellow coffee lovers, right? So if they are not yet decided what machine to go for, I will strongly recommend the Quick, Quick Mill Rubino, even though it is a non-PID machine, but you can still make very good shot. Just that when you choose your type of roast, uh, this machine is probably better for medium to lighter roast because um, you know, uh, without PID, the temperature will tend to fluctuate slightly higher, right? Because of the thermal siphon using the steam temperature to heat up the group heat and things like that. So, uh, but nonetheless, I have been using medium rolls on this machine and the coffee tastes great, right? And with flow control, I will not say perfect, but it's close to perfect, right? So thank you for joining me today. I will see you very soon. Stay safe and uh, have a great day. Cheers, right? Wow.